Are you ready to write the Word of God using the power of a pen and paper? Hi, I'm Lady Terry B. Jones, the creator of What the Scriptures Say Day Scripture Memorization Techniques, where every day we are memorizing a set of scriptures. And this week is our last week uh, that we are memorizing Psalms, the very first chapter, verses 1 through 6. And what do we do on Mondays? We write it, okay? We write this set of scriptures down three times, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost, right? And so hopefully you guys have committed this set of scriptures to memory uh, to the point to where when you in a situation, you'll be able to decipher what it is you should be doing, whether, whether it is something that is righteous, whether it is something that is a blessing, whether it is something that is a stumbling block, right? And so that's what you get out of uh, this particular set of scriptures because you, the first very first verse says, blessed is the man, blessed right there. And so anytime you're not feeling uh, blessed, definitely you refer to this scripture here and see that you are blessed, you know, that God has provided for you because you've been meditating on his word and you know what his provisions are, right? You know that he meets your every need. You know that everything that pertains to life and godliness is yours, right? The love, the joy, the peace, the long-suffering, all of the fruit of the Spirit. Because it says you're going to be like a tree planted by rivers of water that bring forth fruit in this season, right? And so you, as you are spending time in God's Word, you're becoming fruitful. And when those who you interact with partake of you, They'll be able to experience the love of our Heavenly Father, right? And we'll be able to compel men to give their lives to Christ because they're going to want to know, how are you, you know, having a peaceful situation? How do you have joy in the midst of what's going on, right? How are you still able to love? And so those are the things that we'll be able to do, you know, as we meditate on God's Word. We'll be able to look at situations and line them up with the Word of God line them up and say that is of God and that's not of God. You'll be able to have that type of discernment, that type of wisdom, right? And so um, Sunday, it's the fifth Sunday, and what we do on the fifth Sunday is recite the set of scriptures. So if you, your youth ministry, you know, your family, whoever, especially this Sunday is actually uh, Easter Resurrection Sunday, if you guys would take that time, you know, and see who actually is able to uh, recite Psalms 1, 1 through 6, whether they able to recite one verse or all six, okay? And so that's going to be a great time with you and your family together after you all have fellowship, you know, at church and you go home to eat you a nice meal. Comment below that you, what church are you going to fellowship with on Sunday? Just name the church, whether you're going online, whether you're going in person, uh, list the name of your church that you will fellowship on or with on this upcoming Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday, okay? And also, we're in the midst of our Bible reading challenge, which is going to last the whole year. We started January 1st. We're going to end on December 31st. We're reading from Genesis to Revelations. And each day, we have a set of scriptures, scriptures to read. And the set of scriptures for us to read today is from my favorite book, uh, those who uh, know me, they know Joshua is the favorite, my favorite book to read. And we're uh, reading Joshua 13 to 15. Let me switch over to the Bible trivia question in line with this reading. And so the Bible trivia question comes from Joshua 13 and 7, which says, Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance to the nine tribes and the half tribe of who? Comment your answer below and tune in on tomorrow where I'll reveal to you the correct answer. And the answer to yesterday's question was me. Okay. So, like, subscribe, share, and comment below. I really appreciate you all, you know, tuning in every day and commenting and um, just doing those things that God requires us to do, right? So in the meantime, give someone a hug, show someone a smile, and let someone know that Jesus loved them and you do too. Talk to you tomorrow with the next scripture memorization technique.